Hi Virgo, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus signs. Of course it is general so it's not going to be for everybody's situation but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs or you can book a personal reading. Also the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading and if you like this doll that I have on my desk, um, I wish I could zoom in on it, but <clears throat> I actually can't, <laughs> but it's amazing. It's amazing. She's holding a crystal ball. Um, she has her tarot cards out here. The details are just absolutely amazing. Um, I will put the Etsy link in the description box. All right. Also in the description box, I am going to um, put the link to, it's actually a dog rescue. Um, based in the US, but um, this rescue has helped me to save a couple of cats, um, stray cats, and I am just so appreciative. So if anybody wants to donate um, to an animal rescue, I think this is a, a perfect rescue to donate to. So let's get into it. Let's see what is going on with Virgo for mid-June. We have refocus, and I have the feeling that we have gotten this for you before. Okay, so somebody is refocusing here, um, turning your back to a situation or to a way of thinking and just focusing on something else, focusing on a new direction or a new way of doing something, okay? So this could be you, this could be the other person, could be both of you. Let's see. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, so for you, we have the Two of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so there might be a little bit of um, confusion for you here. You might be at a crossroads trying to think about which way you should go. I feel like you you know which way you want to go. Um, you can feel it and hence the refocus card possibly, but you're stressing yourself out about it. Um, it's like you're just holding back. I feel like you might just be procrastinating, moving in a certain direction. And because of that, I feel like you're just you might be distracting yourself with other things in order to kind of numb out this stress, this pain, this anxiety. So we'll see what that is about when we clarify. For them we have death, the eight of swords, and the queen of pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, you might be dealing with a Scorpio, um, possibly another earth sign. This person is transforming. There's something that they might be ending. Maybe they have ended things with you. Maybe they're in the process of trying to end the situation with you. They're not feeling very good about whatever this is. Um, they're feeling a little bit trapped. They're feeling like they're in their headspace as well. I mean, we have the Eight of Swords in the same position that we have the Nine of Swords for you. So I do feel like there's a little bit of marrying here because these energies feel very similar to me. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of, what do I do? There's a lot of, I don't see a solution. I don't see a way out. Let's see what is coming up. Let's see if this is going to shift. So we have, for you, in the near future, we have the Queen of Wands. For them, we have the Four of Pentacles. Mutually, we have the Seven of Swords. And a message for you here is the King of Wands. All right. So, Virgo. Um, I do see you becoming more assertive, feeling more confident in what it is that you want to do in the direction that you want to move towards. Um, your person, I see them still holding on to this connection. So like I said, I, this, is, this ending here, I don't feel like it's actually a permanent ending. 
it could be a transformation, but I'm seeing it more of an ending. And for some of them, it's also that they might be ending a situation that they feel that they have kept themselves trapped in, possibly even overthink, just overthinking or um, some fears. I do also get that there's an ending though in this connection as well on some level, but it's not, it's not permanent. This person is still holding on. And I actually see the both of you kind of just, um, moving away. It's like a, an energy of moving away from each other, but not really wanting to. So that's why I don't feel like this is actually going to be, um, permanent. All right, let's, and with the King of Wands being the message for you here, I do see that there is a very positive and an optimistic resolution to overcoming whatever the challenges are here, okay? for Either for each of you separately or for the both of you together. So let's actually clarify and see what is going on here. Let's see the Two of Wands for you. Five of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Yeah, you're you're trying to make a decision, but this I, I feel like this decision that you're trying to make it just really stresses you out. Um, I feel like, like I said, I feel like you know which way you you're feeling guided to go, and you you can feel your intuition speaking to you. But it's like you're afraid of that option. It's like you're afraid of feeling alone because of that making making that choice. Let me see the Nine of Swords. Four of Cups. So, it's the stress and the anxiety about what this choice might lead to that is keeping you um, kind of passive and not really doing anything. I feel like I feel like this hand here giving you that cup, it's showing you the direction and you're you're kind of like ignoring it or you're just kind of putting it off. It's like you're just distracting yourself with other things to avoid that. Let's see the seven of cups. the five of wands. Okay, yeah, so the more that you just kind of stress about these options, I feel like the more conflicting it gets inside of you. And really, like, whatever this is, it's definitely very, very difficult for you. I can feel that, I can sense that. It's, it's very, very difficult. You're being called to refocus your attention in a new direction that to you feels like like that is either going to bring loneliness or that you might end up being rejected because of that choice and it's very conflicting but what I do see here is that if you do follow your intuition if you do get on that horse and refocus you're going to be standing strong like this queen of wands you're going to be in your power, feeling confident, achieving goals, you're going to be also desirable to um, somebody. So it's all a matter of removing the distractions, which is just, you know, all the thoughts, all the what ifs, if I make this choice if I make this decision and stick to it. Let's see for them. So I'm clarifying death here. Two of swords and the chariot. Okay, so that's cancer energy. Um, again, see, this person is not is not very sure <laughs> that they want this to be over. Actually, it's not that they're not sure. I feel like they don't want it to be over. I feel like their actions are contradictory to how they feel. 
it's like, yeah, you know, um, acting in a way that is representing death. But I feel like that is impulsive. Like there was something maybe that happened and they just reacted very, very impulsively, bringing about some kind of an ending or some kind of an argument. I feel like there was some kind of a disagreement here possibly between the two of you with this person. They acted on impulse, whatever it was. And I feel like that may have led to some kind of a, of a fallout and I feel like they're just kind of sticking to it maybe, but it's not how they truly feel. They're feeling very torn inside here with this Eight of Swords. They're feeling trapped, like they don't know what to do. A lot of fear. Let's see the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Cups. It's like they're carrying something that they need to let go of. And for some of them, it could just be ego. For others of them, it could be another relationship. For others of them, it could be fears. It could be a way of thinking, a way of behaving. Um, it could be whatever that is. It's something that does weigh heavy on them. It is a burden that they are carrying, but it's almost as if they haven't been able to see the way out. But having the Eight of Cups here, I do see them being able to release this, release this Eight of Swords, whatever that is, that has been a blockage for them, for this connection, and move forward, leave, leave it behind. And I do see them doing that because then we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is also your energy. I feel like this person, you're still in their energy. And they also have the Four of Pentacles down here for the near future. So they're still holding on to this connection. They have not let it go, even if that's what they are presenting. So yeah, the Six of Cups clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. So they miss you. Um, I don't know how recent this was, but I do see a sense of nostalgia for the past wanting to reconnect in the way that things used to be, wanting things to be grounded, wanting things to be stable, wanting this connection to be nurturing as it once was, because I feel like at the moment there's been a lot of conflict. So let's, let's clarify the Queen of Wands for you in the near future. Okay, Four of Pentacles for you as well, the Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. So you're holding on to this as well. I feel like, you know, even though you're moving forward, like if you follow your intuition and you refocus and you make a choice here that might be a little bit difficult, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to absolutely completely let go of this. You know, there might still be a part of you that's holding on, and I'm not seeing that as a bad thing. It could just be, you know, if you're trying to, to move away from this connection, for example. Maybe you're trying to move away from something else. Maybe it's a different type of a choice. Whatever that is, the message that I'm getting here is that, yeah, you know, it's, it's a process. It's a process. You're still taking that action. Even if you feel like there's a part of you that's still holding on to that, it doesn't mean that you're not moving forward. Okay, it's definitely a process. Keep pushing forward. Yes, the road has been difficult. But I feel like you're almost at the end here. All right, especially because we're clarifying the Queen of Wands. Like, you are achieving goals here. Let's see the Four of Pentacles for them. All right, the Nine of Cups and Strength. They're holding on to you because they feel like you are their wish fulfillment. They feel like you give them strength. You give them courage. Not only that, I see them like really coming into this place of understanding that compassion is needed as well as, you know, things are not always, things are not always exactly as we want them to be. You know, there is no perfect um, relationship. There's bound to be certain things that, you know, we're not going to like every single little thing. And this is all about them understanding that, you know, 
compromise sometimes is needed, compassion is needed, forgiveness is needed, taming their own self is needed, not acting impulsively is also needed. All right, this is like taming the lion. And this is something that they are coming to see here that comes with the wish fulfillment. When you want something that fulfills you, sometimes you know you also need to be strong in order to get through certain obstacles. Let me see the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Cups, the Sun, and the Eight of Wands. So yeah, it feels like, you know, for, for a little while there might be a little bit of of just kind of avoiding the situation. And that's be that's okay. That's because you're refocusing on something. You're refocusing on your goals. This person has to go through their own process as well. Um, th so there, it might feel like the both of you are kind of distracting yourselves, but I feel like ultimately that is what is needed here in order to move, to move the both of you towards this happiness. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo as well. I do see communication though, either way. So whether or not you were in communication recently or not, I do see some kind of communication even if there is some kind of a distance between the two of you. And I feel like this distance is needed in order to get to this happiness, to this fulfillment. So let me just clarify the King of Wands. For the message here and we have the four of wands and the page of pentacles okay so this is all about being over being able to overcome challenges okay this is also passion so you standing as this queen of wands here you know you also have the king of wands so you can take this as a message definitely it could be your person um following in your footsteps but more so i'm seeing it as the message for you that yes you know the more that you stay strong within your own self, go after what you want, achieve your own obstacles first. That is leading you towards the stability, a commitment, possibly even a marriage. But in some way, it is related to you actually being open to learning about this path, learning about yourself and overcoming your own obstacles first. And I feel like it's the same actually here for your person because those things do tend to mirror each other. So Virgo, if this resonated, let's see your final message. And we have the new moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. Yeah, and I actually feel like that's for the both of you, and I feel like you are. You're both working through your fears. All right, the fears of the future, of what a refocusing might lead to. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for watching, and much love.